Hello there, Andy of Mod Shoes. We've put this simple video together to talk about sizing. If we go to the close up, this is a delicious junction Rude Boy, size 8. We sell an awful lot of these, a lot of you buy these. They're a classic Rude Boy loafer, as you can see, it's got the feathers, the tassels. Now, this is an 8, okay? I'm an 8, well, traditionally an 8 for going to a shoe shop. Just so you understand, my left foot is an 8, my right foot is a little bit bigger, it's an 8.5. So what we're going to be doing in this video is I've got a selection of shoes here. The first being this one, it's the District Junction 8. And I'm putting them on and I'm telling you how I feel. So do they feel tight or thin? Because we have a few returns where people misjudge what they should think they should do. So in other words, my foot is an eight and a half. Yeah. And what we're doing is, is that feels comfortable to me. It's okay. It's a little tight, but my foot is bigger on this foot. Now, I wear a pair of the Bordeaux's and they feel good, even though my foot's slightly larger, in an eight. So what I'm saying is, if you're a nine and a half, buy a nine. If you're a ten and a half, buy a ten. If you're eleven and a half, you know, buy eleven, and so on and so on. So, I'm an eight, an eight and a half in this one. This is feeling good. So staying on the size eights, and we'll go back to the cut of a close-up loop. Luke is my able assistant in the background. Now we're on the close-up one. This is an Ace Bordeaux, lovely shoe, I love the stitching, it's different. Um, it's got no feather on this one, it's only uh, got the, just the tassel. This is also Delicious Junction, go look down here. Delicious Junction, size 8. And when I put it down, now this feels looser. This feels slightly larger, um, I'm not sure why, perhaps it's a different kind of leather. Um, but again, that feels really comfortable. That's you could wear that straight out of the, the box easy. Remember, I'm an eight and a half, and this is an eight. So, again, I would suggest that you go smaller rather than larger on that tip to one. So that's two loafers from Delicious Junction. We'll just go back over. Now we're going to try on, we'll go to the close up again, Luke, on there, mate. These sell very well as well. This is Delicious Junction's Upsetter Brogue, classic, classic wing back brogue, you know, got the wing back pull to the back here. Nice looking shoe. Again, this is straight out of the box. It's an 8. So, I don't know if you can see it comes with the yellow laces. Now, let's put this on. We'll go down to the floor. This is also an 8. Now that, that feels tighter. No, that, yeah, that's slightly tighter. So, it's a thinner shoe. I mean, I've got some lake rogues and they're looser than this. This is quite tight. Um, this is going to take some wearing in. So if you are thinking about sizing 8.5, you possibly might want to go to the larger. I don't know to the honest truth. I think which probably needs to be worn in. Let me have a feel. Yeah, that is feeling tight. I might go to the one above it rather than down. So in this particular one, which is the upset of brogue, my advice would be possibly going to the one up, it depends. If you've got a fat foot, like I have, this is quite, quite thin. I'd probably advise you to go for a low royal instead. This is quite a thin construction. I don't know how much that's going to spray out of there. My foot is ending there, so I'm obviously quite wide rather than long, if you understand what I'm saying. Not a bad shoe, I like that. It's a nice looking shoe. I like the fact it comes with the yellow laces. It's good. It's good. It's cool. It's very good. Right, we're going to move on to Delicious Junction 9, so Luke needs to go up on the sizing. Right, again. Now this is the Delicious Junction Merton in a 9. Now you might be saying, why am I putting a 9 on when I'm an 8? Well, to prove the point. <laughs> so this is Delicious Junction, I don't know if you can see it. It's a Merton, it's a classic Basswegian sort of look. It's got the tassels, no frays, it's got the sort of little boating bits on the back, and the thing that makes it easier to get it on and off. So this is a 9 Merton. Now remember, I'm an eight and a half. No, that's far too loose. Now, look, what I'm trying to say here is, if you're a nine, I think this is going to stretch a lot. It's got here, it's going to stretch a lot across this lever. I would definitely be getting an eight in that. Remember, my foot's an 8.5, so I would go smaller on this one. That's quite, that's quite loose, even though it's a nine. So it's bound to be loose on my foot, but it's very loose. You see what I mean? To go again with the business junction, I'd say I'd advise go smaller on them. That's the Merton. 
We've got another 9. Again, to the close up, Delicious Junction 9. This is the Brad Boot. Um, let me just step back a bit so you can see it. Hold it still for a second. There you go. It's a boot. Lovely looking boot. Uh, good quality. Uh, this is a 9. And I've deliberately pulled the 9 out again because I tried these on earlier. And again, like the like the Brogue earlier, the upsetter, these do come up quite small. Now, remember, they're only 8 and a half. Now, in terms of that, it's too long. But it's still quite... It's not feeling loose, that loose to me. So, in other words, if you're an eight and a half, possibly go for the nine. I'm, I'm suggesting it depends on where you want this done. Can you see the lacing? Here you see. Now, my foot is, you know, that is, this is one size too big for me. But it's not feeling totally big for me. I feel if I put an eight on, it's not going to, it's going to be too tight. So, what am I saying? I'm saying. If you're an eight and a half, you might go for the nine rather than the eight. Yeah? Right, now we're going to change makes. Luke, you need to go up on the next one. Right. Change your make again. This is a Lope. This is their Georgetown. And this is in a seven and a half. Now, nice looking shoe. You can see it there on the close up. Got the lovely Oxbud look about it. We've sold quite a few of these. These are really nice. Made by Lope. Good, they're coming at under under hundred pounds, which is quite good for a load. Um, again, I'm going to try. Now, remember, this is a seven and a half, and I'm an eight and a half. Now, jeez, here you go. Right, that's tight. I know I've got that on my foot, and that's hurting. That's too tight. Now, I would say that the lokes. Now, I'm going to quickly change to bright. Don't you don't need to go for the. I'll just leave that on the floor. Now, that's a seven and a half. Okay. This is a Brighton, famous, somebody wears these, quite a few other advocates, been around, let me try and show that to the close, but been around forever, this low brand. I know several old mods from the 60s that wear them, I learned a lot of Northern Soul as I still wear them. Now this is an eight. Yeah, that's going to take some wear in. Again, that's an eight, but that's tighter than the Delicious Junction. So I'm suggesting on this, and you can get half sizes in the, the Brightons, I would stick to your size. They're pretty accurate. I would, um, yeah, that's good. I'm feeling that. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. That feels like it's going to wear. Now, that yeah. do take a good month to wear in. If you're going to wear this straight out the box, you're going to... I'd take a second pair of shoes. This is good. Right. Lastly, I'm going to move on to... The icons, let me just get that off. Now, the icon is an 8. Very, very similar again to the Delicious Junction. Rude Boy one, but this one's called the Selector, with an A on the end. A very, very similar to, um, if you compare the two, which there's another video about, yeah, they're very comparable. I would argue that they're probably made from the same level, but that's not getting to that. Again, this is an 8. So let's put this down here. Remember, I'm an eight and a half on this one. This is an eight. That's comfortable. That's lovely. That feels good. That feels... Yeah, that's good. If anything, it's a little bit sloppy at the back. So again, if you're... Go down a size. Like the Genesis Junction, go down a size. And it may be because it's a European sizing rather than English sizing. So it's a cut approximation. That's good. It feels all right. So... There you go. Anyway, come back to me. Andrew Lindsay of Mod Shoes, and that was your sizing video.